Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Let us do one more topic today for MEG 07 upcoming examination, Indian English Literature. In a very simple and detailed way, we will cover autobiography of an unknown Indian by Neerat C. Chaudhary. These are the topics, these are the blocks of MEG 07 and these are the videos from which you can take the help to study for this subject. I'll provide these links in description to let us see Neerat C. Chaudhary ke baare mein aapko answer likhte hue. Shuruaat kaise karni? He was an Indian writer. 1990 bahut hi ek prominent year raha hai unki life mein Oxford University awarded him. By then a long time resident of the city of Oxford and honorary degree in letters. Dilit ki degree unhe provide ki gai thi. In 1992 he was made an honorary commander of the order of the British Empire. And this book kya dikhati hai? The book relates his mental and intellectual development, his life and growth in Calcutta. Not only his personal life, he tells us too much about the viewpoints and the life that people of India were living during the time of colonization. This book was published in 1951. In 1951, he published his most famous book, I must say autobiography of an unknown indian a very penetrating and very challenging analysis of indian history indian history culture and indian uh, british rule at that point of time the controversial dedication to the memory of british empire really caused a tumult this book ko unhone dedicate kiya tha british empire ko jiski wajah se book bahut hi chaotic mani jati but still a classic work of indian literature Neeraj C. Chaudhary was a Bengali English writer and cultural commentator born 1897 in Kishore Ganj, which today is a part of Bangladesh but at that time was a part of Bengal, a region of British India. Was awarded Sahitya Academy Award in 1975 for his biography on Marx Muller called Scholar Extraordinary by Sahitya Academy, India's National Academy of Letters. Is there a retirement age for writers? Certainly no. And yes, this writer proves it. The record holder, of course, Neera C. Chaudhary wrote a book at the age of 100. Many people call him to be an Anglophile. Anglophile, a person who is fond of or greatly admires England, Britain, British rule or British fashion, British culture, British civilization. Mad after British culture, you can see. A passionate admirer of Western culture, he first visited England in 1955, a visit which inspired him to write his book Passage to England and he decided to make his home in Oxford too in 1970 when he was over 70. This was his Oxford house, which ki a blue flag. Bhi mila hai. A blue flag is a permanent sign installed in a public place in UK and elsewhere to commemorate a link between the location and a famous historical person. Other famous Indians who have got the blue plaque are Raja Ramon Roy, Mahatma Gandhi, Shri Aurobindo, Dadabhai Noriji, Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India and Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. A passage to England and a book about Hinduism. These are one, two very famous works by him. Let us come to our major topic today. Autobiography of an unknown Indian. This book is divided, uh, this whole uh, autobiography is divided into four books. Book one, book two, book three and book four. Unknown Indian is divided into four books. Book one, Early Environment, talks about the early life in Kishore Ganj, where he was born in his ancestral village. And book two, book two, first 12 years, it describes his birth in early life. Book three, Education, covers the years that he spent at the high school and college in Calcutta. I'll tell you one interesting thing about his bachelor's and master's education, but later on in this video. Abhi baat karte hai, unki baaki sabhi books ke baare mein. So book 1, Early Environment, book 2, first 12 years and book 3 about education. So uh, unki education 
जितनी आप सोच रहे हैं उतनी अच्छी नहीं रही और क्यों अच्छी नहीं रही दैट आई विल डिस्कस लेटर ऑन अभी बुक फोर की बात करते हैं बुक फोर इन टू दर्ल्ड ये एक तरीके से एक ऐसे है ऐसे ऑन दी लाइफ इन बेंगाल इन द 1920s rather than an account of his own life book 4 mein unhone bengal ke bare mein zyada baat ki hai apni life ke bare mein baat karne ki bajaye he was born around at the turn of a century and died also at the turn of a century around beautifully evoking the sights and sounds rituals and routines of town and countryside he his memoir begins with his childhood in turn of the century bengal as i told you he then leads the readers through the web of calcutta calcutta ki life charting the course of political and moral education that leaves him a stranger in his own land aisa lagta tha ki he was not made for india unki baatu se aisa lagta tha ki he was not made for india he was too much impressed by the british culture aur in the view points ne aisa फील करवा दिया रीडर्स को कि नीरज सिंह चौधरी अपने ही लैंड में शायद एक स्ट्रेंजर थे जो कुछ भी मैं आपको बता रही हूँ वो सब कुछ आप इस ऐसे टॉपिक से रिलेटेड अगर कोई भी क्वेश्चन आए तो आराम से लिख सकते हैं जितना भी आपको इसमें से याद रह जाए टॉपिक बाय टॉपिक मेजर टॉपिक्स को याद रखेंगे कुछ मेजर पॉइंट्स को याद रख लीजिए बर्थ ईयर डेथ ईयर को याद रख लीजिए कहाँ पैदा हुए थे वो याद रख लीजिए ही वॉज बॉर्न इन किशोरगंज मैम सिंह ईस्ट बंगाल ब्रिटिश इंडिया अभी बांग्लादेश में है द सेकेंड ऑफ दी एट चिल्ड्रन ऑफ उपेंद्र नारायण चौधरी अ लॉयर हिज पेरेंट्स वर लिबरल मिडिल क्लास हिंदूज हु बिलोंग टू दी ब्राह्म समाज मोमेंट This is the location of present day Kishorganj located in Bangladesh now. इस बुक को लेकर कंट्रोवर्सी इसलिए हुई थी क्योंकि ये बुक उन्होंने ब्रिटिश लोगों को डेडिकेट की थी देखिए क्या लिखा है यहां पर. To the memory of the British Empire in India which conferred subjecthood on us but withheld citizenship. To which yet every one of us throughout the challenge civil Britannicus sum because all that was good and living within us was made shape and quickened by the same british rule in simple language let us see what he meant he strongly believed that all that was good and living within us within indians was made shape and quickened by the same british rule jo kuch bhi acha indians ke andar tha jo bhi civilization aayi wo british rule ne di indians ko so possibly a great book and a wonderful Uh, chronicle of the times but do consider beforehand chaudhry's worthy dedication to british empire in india this once very controversial book now appears to be a must read to understand the extent of the indian colonialism by the british people although it is dedicated to the memories of british empire देखते हैं बुक में किस किस तरीके की उन्होंने बातें की हुई है नॉट ऑफिशियली ऑफिशियली इस तरीके से डिवाइडेड नहीं है ये बुक लेकिन आपके आंसर लिखने में बहुत कम आएगी ही टॉक्स अबाउट दी फैमिली एंड एनवायरनमेंट और हमें वो बताते हैं कि वो बहुत ही एक स्कॉलरली एनवायरनमेंट में ग्रो अप हुए थे बहुत सारे इंटेलेक्चुअल परसेट उनके लिए बिल्कुल नॉर्मल थे He starts off by giving a detailed description of his parents and other family members, and we are told that his father was a very successful lawyer and the vice chairman of the Kishore Ganj municipality. Such a great thing. The four three children evidently grew up in a very scholarly kind of environment, and he said that we did know, we did always know the names of Queen Victoria, Prince Albert, Napoleon, Shakespeare, and Raphael. ऐसे बड़े बड़े नाम जो कि हमें अपनी एजुकेशन के थ्रू स्पेसिफिकली हायर एजुकेशन के थ्रू पता चलते हैं दोज नेम्स वर क्वाइट नेचुरल टू चौधरी चिल्ड्रन बंगाल की मिट्टी से उन्होंने क्या क्या सीखा स्कॉलरली एनवायरनमेंट में तो ग्रो अप हुए ही थे देन ही टॉक्स अबाउट माइकल मधुसूदन दत्त बंकिम चंद्र चैटर्जी राम मोहन रॉय एंड टैगोर एंड विवेकानंद काइंड ऑफ ग्रेट पर्सनैलिटीज ऑफ इंडिया हमें एक टूर करवाते हैं वो बंगाली लिटरेरी वर्ल्ड का इंट्रोड्यूसिंग आस टू द लिटरेचर पीपल लाइक ऑल दीज विच आर मैंशन हेयर He starts with Michael Madhusudan, that a very wealthy Bengali who got converted to Christianity, 
and then we meet Bankim Chandra Chatterjee, who was, according to this person, Chaudhary, positively and fiercely anti-Muslim and the creator of Hindu nationalism. And then we are told about Raja, Mohan, Raja Ram Mohan Roy and Tagore. And in which way he says that that point of time, both of them were quite underrated. Although we are reading a lot of passion with Ram Mohan Roy and Tagore, ko, lekin that time they were underrated maybe because of their viewpoints, because of their modernist kind of viewpoints. और उसके बाद वो विवेकानंदा की बात करते हैं विवेकानंदा को अगर आपने अपने इस सब्जेक्ट में ही थोड़ा सा और पढ़ा है तो उनकी स्पीच एट द पार्लियामेंट ऑफ शिकागो बहुत फेमस है और यही बात शायद हमारे ये राइटर नीरज सिंह चौधरी भी जानते थे विवेकानंदा बिकेम अ हीरो दैट टाइम ओनली आफ्टर द पार्लियामेंट ऑफ रिलीजन्स एट शिकागो विच गेव हिम एन अनएक्सपेक्टेडली वेरी फेवरेबल काइंड ऑफ रिसेप्शन ऑटोबायोग्राफी ऑफ अन अन इंडियन इसमें लगभग सौ साल पुराने व्यू पॉइंट है नीरज सिंह चौधरी के जिस तरीके का स्कॉलरली एनवायरमेंट उनको मिला वैसा सबको नहीं मिलता था उस वक्त स्कूल जाना ही बहुत बड़ी बात होती थी लीव अपार्ट दी बैचलर्स एंड मास्टर्स डिग्री तो वो कहते हैं कि टैगोर के व्यू पॉइंट और राम मोहन राजा राम मोहन रॉय के व्यू पॉइंट को उस टाइम पर ज्यादा वर्शिप नहीं किया जाता था टैगोर के बारे में फिर भी लोगों का थोड़ा सा व्यू पॉइंट चेंज होता जा रहा था आफ्टर ही रिसीव दी नोबेल प्राइज आई हैव नेवर गॉट अ चांस टू विजिट कैलकेटा बट आई रियली विश टू वंस बिकॉज इट इज कॉल्ड द सिटी ऑफ कल्चर कैलकेटा रिलेटेड टू कल्चर बट ही सेज ही टॉक्स अबाउट कैलकेटा एज नॉट अ वेरी क्लीन सिटी एंड फुल ऑफ पीपल विद सुपरस्टिशन so he says calcutta was not a very clean hygienic kind of city you can see garbage uh, everywhere dumped on the roads and to uh, slip here and slip there and to have injuries kind of a very common kind of mess happening in calcutta and he told that bengalis were very superstitious and they used to sprinkle cow dung to purify the environment around them kaise hum log ganga jal chhidakte hain and uh, that is the reason maybe people did denounce ram mohan roy and tagore kind of people because they were trying to bring modernity in india specifically in calcutta ab wo apni feeling nahi pure indians ki feelings batate hain about british india mein we cannot say ki there was a single view point there was a mixed view point about the reign of british people एक बोर वॉर की बात करते हैं पहले तो उसके बाद आप समझ पाएंगे सेकेंड बोर वॉर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ओनली द बोर वॉर द एंग्लो बोर वॉर और दर्दर्न एफ्रीकन वॉर एक कंफ्लिक्ट था इट वॉज फॉर बिटवीन द ब्रिटिश एम्पायर एंड दी टू बोर रिपब्लिक ओवर दी एम्पायर इन्फ्लुएंस इन सदर्न एफ्रीका फ्रॉम एटीन नाइनटी नाइन टू नाइनटीन जीरो टू सो सीधा सीधा हम ये मान लेते हैं कि ब्रिटिश एम्पायर और उनके कुछ ऑपोजिट कंट्रीज के बीच में वॉर हुई थी दो चौधरी इज सपोज टू बी एन एंग्लो फिल्म मैंने आपको पहले ही बताया ब्रिटिश एम्पायर के बहुत बड़े भक्त थे ये हिस्स फीलिंग्स टू वर्ड्स ए ब्रिटिश विच ही कन्फ्लेट विद दैट ऑफ इंडियन इज जनरल और डेफिनेटली मिक्सड अकॉर्डिंग टू चौधरी ड्यूरिंग द बोर वॉर वन हाफ ऑफ द इंडिया ऑटोमेटिकली शेयर इन द इंग्लिश क्राइम आधे लोग इंग्लिश की इंग्लिश uh, लोगों की जीत की तरफ थे और आधे लोग चाहते थे कि इंग्लैंड हार जाए तो हर तरीके की फीलिंग्स हमारी सोसाइटी में हमारे इंडिया में प्रिवेल कर रही थी टूवर्ड्स ब्रिटिश पीपल वंस ही टोल्ड द रीडर्स इन दिस बुक इवन अबाउट हिज ओन फीलिंग वंस ही वेंट टू सम कॉन्सर्ट वेयर ही सॉ ब्रिटिश पीपल एवरीवेयर एंड ही डिड नॉट नो व्हाई ही वाज फिल्ड अप विद डिस्कस्ट ही थॉट ऑफ ड्रॉपिंग अ बॉम्ब एट द होल क्राउड एंड दैट वाज जस्ट अ single seconds heated moment and he was maybe in some kind of excited state and full of patriotism or full of nationalism kind of feel on that particular day but otherwise he was a complete anglophile he also talks about the education system the education system that was given by british to india so uh, he he is not going for the excessive praise of the british empire in this part um one gets a feeling that chaudhry not only admired the british empire for its achievement but he also envied them 
इन द पोजिशन ऑफ वन कॉलोनाइज वो उनसे एनवी भी करते थे कि दे आर इन दोजिशन ऑफ दोलोनाइजर्स तो जहां पर तारीफ करनी चाहिए थी उनके सिस्टम के लिए सिविलाइजेशन के लिए उनकी हाइजीन uh, सिस्टम के लिए उनकी uh, की हुई कंस्ट्रक्शन के लिए उनके इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के लिए ही वॉज इन फेवर ऑफ देम बट ही वॉज फुल ऑफ डिस्कस्ट वेन ही यूज टू सी दैट इंडियंस आर बींग एक्सप्लोइेड बाई दी हैंड्स ऑफ ब्रिटिश बेसिकली वॉट ही रोट अबाउट दी एजुकेशन सिस्टम वो यही बता रहे हैं कि इंडियन को इसलिए एजुकेट किया जाता था ताकि उनको यूटिलाइज किया जा सके ऑन दी क्लरिकल पोजिशन बाई दी ब्रिटिश एम्पायर The education system of British India has been accused of being only a machine for turning out clerks and officials, which he said that certainly is true if we test the education system by the use which was made of it in average instances and judge it by the average product. जो भी उनका education system था that was quite average according to Neeraj Singh Chaudhary, but it is not true if we take into account the intention of those who created the system many passed through the british indian educational system mechanically their approach akin to that of a man with a gun who uses it as a cudgel cudgel is stick aisa lagta tha ki education system jo hai sirf kuch sirf ek machinery hai jo ki kuch average logo ko produce kar rahi hai jo kisi na kisi clerical ya official kaam ko kar paaye Let us see his viewpoints about Hinduism and Muslimism. Chaudhary tells us clearly that uh, they learned nothing of the Islamic culture, although it was spiritual and intellectual. But he was not happy with the uh, treatment of Muslims by rest of the Indians. He said there was a retrospective hostility towards Muslims for their one-time domination of the us. जिस तरीके से इंडियंस को इंडियंस को डोमिनेट किया था मुस्लिम मुगल एम्पायर ने उसकी वजह से उन्हें हमेशा एक तरीके की हॉस्टिलिटी की फीलिंग दी जाती है एंड ही वाज नॉट हैप्पी विद द सुपरस्टिशंस ऑफ हिंदुइज्म प्रोवाइड्स अ डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ द रिलीजन ऑफ द हिंदूज फोकसिंग ऑन देयर रिलीजियस साइकोलॉजी एंड बिहेवियर I told you that I'll tell you about his bachelor's and master's, and that is an interesting incident. Chaudhary tells us that he was over ambitious as an undergraduate. जब वो undergraduate थे तो बहुत ही ambitious थे. I will do this, I'll do that in my life. In his BA history honors, he was placed first in order of merit in the first class. However, he took on a vast reading list for his MA and failed to pass his MA examination and he said i found this failure to be remarkable how can someone who topped his university in his ba exam fail to clear ma because he uh, kind of uh, you know started having feeling ki all this examination system is quite absurd and he could not concentrate on the ma examination though look at this irony he did not get his ma from calcutta university Oxford University honored him with Dilit degree. What an irony! In the final chapters, he chooses only the facts which support his argument, neglecting large chunk of history. बहुत ज़्यादा बात नहीं करते final concluding chapter में. The concluding chapter, an essay on the course of Indian history, is full of easy generalizations. Generalization means something you apply to two or three people and you feel that everybody does that that is what we call generalization he believes that civilizations is the in the successive historical cycles in india are foreign importations india mein jo bhi civilizations aayi hain wo historical impact hain foreign importations ka the book relates his mental intellectual development growth his life and his growth in calcutta to his observation of the changing indian situation under the british empire under all other historical forces that was making exit of british from india an imminent affair to india india par foreign powers ka alien powers ka kya kya impact hua specifically ब्रिटिश पावर का क्या इम्पैक्ट हुआ उसके 
ब्रिटिश एम्पायर के अंडर ब्रिटिश कॉलोनियलिज्म के अंडर इंडिया में क्या क्या चेंजेस आए बेसिकली उन सब चेंजेस की बात करते हैं नीरज सिंह चौधरी अपनी इस किताब में वंस अगेन रिमाइंडिंग यू दिस इज द होल सिलेबस एंड दीज आर द फोर वीडियोस यूजिंग व्हिच यू कैन प्रिपेयर योरसेल्फ फॉर रिवाइजिंग द सिलेबस ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट एमजी 07 Thanks for watching best of luck for exams and please do not forget to share and subscribe the channel